of St. Paul Evangelical Lutheran Church as we celebrate, the, as we commemorate uh, the Emmanuel Nine martyrdom. We will practice our first song, which is kind of different than uh, of the hymnals that we typically sing. So, we're going to practice the first verse. All the hymns are in the back of your bulletin because they are all interesting. So, you have all the songs on the back of your bulletin. So, the first song, which is Wade in the Water, there is a part that it's only a leading singer sings, and that would be Anna. And then everybody follows and sings together. Right. So, we're going to practice the first verse. So we all start together, we pause for Anna. All right? So the Holy Spirit is going to make this work. Don't worry. It always does. This is a special Sunday. We begin with the reading of the introduction. And then we will stand for confession and forgiveness. On June 17, 2015, Clementa Pickney, Cynthia Marie Graham, Hurt, Susie Jackson, Ethel Lee Lance, the Payne Middleton Doctor, Taiwan's Ascenders, Danielle Lee Simons, Chevronda Coleman Singleton, and Mary Thompson were murdered by Dylan Roof, a baptized and confirmed member of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, made white supremacy. While they were gathering for a Bible study and prayer at the Emmanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church, often referred to as Mother Emmanuel, in Charleston, South Carolina, Pastor Speakney and Simons, Simons were both graduates of the Lutheran Theological Southern Seminary. A resolution to commemorate June 17 as a day of repentance for the martyrdom of the Emmanuel IX was adopted by the Churchwide Assembly of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America on August 8, 2019. Through that resolution, congregations of the LCA are encouraged to reaffirm their commitment to repent of the sins of racism and white supremacy, which continue to plague this church, to venerate the martyrdom of the Emmanuel Nine, and to mark this day 
of penitents who study and prayer. Our synod has created a anti-racism working group, which in the aftermath of George Floyd death. And this group has begun its work and has encouraged every congregation of our synod to commemorate, to, to get a date in the month of June to commemorate the Manuel Mine. And this is what we do today. So please stand. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who creates, redeems, and sustains us and all of creation. Amen. Let us confess our bondage to the sin that denies dignity to every child of God. God of unconditional love, you show no partiality for your beloved. We have heard your good news of great joy for all nations. We know that your sanctuary is a house of worship for all people, with no regard for the color of our skin. However, we confess our inability to let our old selves die to the world and fully see your image in the face of those different from us. Help us to be witness to better things and love one another as you have loved us. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. The Almighty God strengthen you with the power for the Holy Spirit that Christ may live in our hearts through faith.
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-given spirit may move every human heart, that the barriers dividing us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that with our divisions healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from Genesis. And I will make my covenant between me and you, and will make you exceedingly numerous. Then Abraham, this is my covenant with you. You shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham. For I have made you the ancestor of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make the nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your offspring after you, throughout their generations. For an everlasting covenant and to your offspring after you. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. We read Psalm 69 responsibly. Answer me, O Lord, for your steadfast love is good. According to your abundant mercy, turn to me. Do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in distress. Draw near to me, redeem me, set me free because of my enemies. You know the insults I receive, and my shame and dishonor, my foes are all known to you. Insults have broken my heart, so that I am in despair. I looked for pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me poison for food, and for my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. But I will praise the name of God with a song. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an ox or a bowl of horns and hooves. Let the oppressors see it and be glad. You who seek God, let your hearts be high. For the Lord hears the needy and does not despise. reading from Ephesians. Remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh, he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. So he came and proclaimed peace to all who were far off and to peace to those who were near. For through him, both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are, so then you are, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as a cornerstone. In him, the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. Bear with me. There's a lot of names. 
strange ones. An account of the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac the father of Jacob, and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers, and Judah the father of Perez, and Zerath by Tamar, and Perez the father of Hezron, and Hezron the father of Aaron, and Aaron the father of Aminabad, and Aminabad the father of Nashon, and Nashon the father of Salmon, and Salmon the father of Boaz by Ahab, and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth, and Obed the father of Jesse, and Jesse the father of King David. And David was the father of Solomon by his wife Uriah, and Solomon the father of Rehoboam, and Rehoboam the father of Abijah, and Abijah the father of Asaph, and Asaph the father of Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, and Joram the father of Uzziah, and Uzziah the father of Jotham, and Jotham the father of Ahaz, and Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, and Hezekiah the father of Manasseh, and Manasseh the father of Amos, and Amos the father of Josiah, and Josiah the father of Jeconiah and his brothers, at the time of the deportation to Babylon. And after the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Salatiel, and Salatiel was the father of Zerubbabel, and Zerubbabel the father of Abiud and Abiud, the father of Eliakim, and Eliakim, the father of Azor, and Azor, the father of Zadok, and Zadok, the father of Akim, and Akim, the father of Eliud, and Eliud, the father of Eleazar, and Eleazar, the father of Matan, and Matan, the father of Jacob, and Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, whom Jesus was born, who is called the Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. It was not until very recently then I began to develop any interest about my genealogical roots. I always knew that I'm mostly Portuguese, with a significant chunk of French on my father's side, and another chunk of Italian blood on my mother's side. My full name, which when I was baptized, is Mauricio Costa Fonseca Vieira. Yes, three surnames. None of them is a so-called middle name in English. Those are three surnames. It is a part of our culture. Portuguese and then Brazilian, to preserve some of the heritage, at least, built into each of our surnames. Some people never drop them, and the full names are like 12 names long. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. There is something, nonetheless, that I regret just a little, that after naming our children, the firstborn years of this lineage in the United States, we are young and wanted to be practical. So we keep the Vieira last name only for the sake of, of practicality. But I gave myself a break. I was not only young. As I said, I was not always mindful of this thing. 
You grow older, you begin to kill, to, 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 what are you going to say? Care a little bit more for your heritage, those things comes to mind, right? Nonetheless, the names and the heritage are there in the records, both from the church records and both from the civil records. If my children who are here from the balcony ever have the desire to trace out their lineage, it's there for them to set themselves in that journey. It will be possible for them to trace such heritage and understand who they are and where they come from. It is forever theirs. Each of those surnames tell their own story. If they trace the Costa surname, they will get to our Italian lineage and perhaps my lot for pasta. <laughs> if they trace the Fonseca surname, which, by the way, Vieira means clan, they will lead us to our friend lineage and perhaps to my appreciation to creamy sauces cheeses and red wine. Mm -hmm. You also tell them also of a fisherman heritage, and that's confounding to me, by the way, because fishing is not my thing, but again, sell fish. It's not like you need to go to the deep ocean. The Vieira also will tell him of something that I learned just very recently. There is a distant Irish heritage connection. This will perhaps explain my affinity for everything Celtic, including Dropkick Murphys, the Celtic woman, and I mean the female vocal group, potatoes and sauté cabbage. If you dig down on the Fonseca surname, according to my dad, they will get to the person who declared Brazil a republic. The kind of distant relatives. You know how they do. So, if I, when, when I, so as I began to cross the 50 year mark, I began to see how digging deeper in one's lineage can be fun, it can be uplifting, it can be often profound. Or become, uh, when we become aware of the gifts that our ancestors left us, it gives us a sense of belonging. But I also learned something else recently, which is kind of obvious. It has always been there around us, is with us today. And I confess that my privilege has blinded me of its reality all my adult life. If most of my siblings in Christ, our siblings in Christ, of African American heritage, decide to depart on the same journey of self discovery, they can only go as far as the slave owner. And 
even in whose names their fathers were baptized. Our brothers and sisters in Christ of African American heritage carried only so far as the people who kept them captive and in whose names they were baptized. They carry that forever and their heritage is lost forever. This reality shatters my heart to pieces. It does so because it was on the court of a Portuguese king that the letters authorizing the beginning of the transatlantic slave were signed. Oh, my Portuguese ancestors were the first to profit from it. I, Portu our Portuguese fathers were the first Europeans to deny their humanity, to ship them as cattle across the sea, and to rob them forever of the joy of their ancestors. I can't fathom what that is. The only record of your existence is the name of the person who beat your ancestors sometimes to death or burned them alive for disobedience. Forever is the name you How can we possibly repair what's broken forever? I can only shed tears and ask the Lord the Christ to have mercy on me. I can only confess with my lips that Jesus from Nazareth son of Joseph through Mary, son of David, son of Abraham, is the promised Messiah, my Lord, my God, crucified and raised on the first day for the forgiveness of my sins and for all who believe. And therefore, trust in God's promise that no one who does such confession will be ever be put to shame regardless of the color of their skin and the nation they come from. And this, perhaps, Jesus' lineage, the one in whom we share the baptism that saves us, is the only offer we can give back. The way to something better. Our common heritage with the Christ that is faithful, that is truthful, and that is about love, and love abides, and love does no wrong, and there is no law against such love. In the meantime, beloved of God, my sisters and my brothers, hear the voice of the Lord moving over the waters and pleading us to crumble down the walls dividing us. 
creating and recreating, making everything new in Jesus Christ. Together with him, we were adopted into the ancient promise of a faith ancestry as numerous as the stars, as in many nations as there is. Together with him, we are renouncers of evil, heirs and proclaimers of his kingdom. Together with him, as the new cornerstone of our faith, as the foundation of our actions, it is our duty to be witnesses to better things. It is our Christian duty to be his disciples, to form new ones, and to become what we were created to be. Finally, bearers not of sorrow, but of good news. Thanks be to God. Amen.
together invite you to confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the lasting. Amen. Let us come before the triune God in prayer. O oh God, our humanity is made in your image and is redeemed through your Son, Jesus Christ. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred that infected our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love, and through our struggle and confusion, work to accomplish your purposes on earth, so that in your good time, every people and nation may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You lay the foundation of the earth and the waters that are womb for creation. The morning stars sing your name, and all creation shouts for joy. We pray for your blessed creation, that it may continue to flourish and magnify your glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. You keep with your watch over all nations. We pray for countries experiencing violence, hunger, and unrest. We pray especially for Israel and the Middle East and from the island of Madagascar. Guide worldwide local community organizations in their efforts to establish safety and justice. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. You are close to the brokenhearted and near to those in distress. We pray especially for David, Lillian, Jim, Donna, Bill, Ron, Ingrid, Yaris, Dan, Mike, Jean, Julie, Mary, Herb, Tyler, Brian, Rodney, Charlie, Kendall, Red, Doris, and John. Guide worldwide and local community organizations in their efforts to establish safe and justice. I apologize. Where there is sorrow, bring joy. Where there is despair, bring hope. Where there is injury, bring healing. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. You dwell with us in this faith community. We pray for our counsel. Grant the knowledge, patience, and kindness that through their leadership you may be exalted in this assembly. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Protecting God, we commend your gracious care and keeping all who currently serve this country at home and abroad, either as members of our armed forces, first responders, and those who work for social liberty and justice for all. We pray especially for Luke, Aaron, Tommy, Richard, Hannah, Kendra, Alec, Keegan, Alyssa, Tony, Aaron, Kyle, Donald, Isaac, Tyler, and John. We also pray for Ryan, Joe, and Drew. The 
sustain them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations, and give them the courage to face the perils that surround them, and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Healer of every ill, accompany those among us who are health care givers. Today we pray especially for Era, Chris, Cindy, Johim, Cindy, Bailey, Missy, AJ, D, Art, Karen, Bailey, Jamie, Lacey, and Becky. Embrace them with strength and your peace as they go about being vessels for your loving kindness and agents of your desire for restoration and dignity for all humanity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Your love endures all situations. On this Father's Day, we pray for those who are fathers, or for those who wish to be fathers, for those with broken or strained relationships, for those who are missing their fathers, and for fathers who have lost children. Bless and strengthen them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Beloved of God, you may now offer your own prayer. Your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and at all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death and the grave, and by his glorious resurrection, open to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join the unending hymn. and the 
Please stand if you are able. Let us pray. We give you thanks, gracious God, that you have once again fed us with food beyond compare, the body and blood of Christ. Lead us from this place, nourished and forgiven, into your beloved vineyard, to wipe away the tears of all who hunger and thirst, guided by the example of the same Jesus Christ, and led by the same Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. You are invited to join us in our adult forum downstairs, when we will have a, a safe and open-hearted conversation about why it is so difficult. You're going to see that our race statement of racial justice is 30 years old. Most of you didn't even know that it existed. Why is so difficult to talk about this? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with faith and give you peace. Amen. Yeah. 